G'day guys and welcome back to Ados the Great YouTube channel. So guys, in today's video I will be giving you my round 9 tips. But before that, let's review how I went in round 8. So round 8 was a pretty poor week from me. As you can see, the start was not great whatsoever. Um, I backed the Warriors in to beat the Titans, put 22 points in the Titans over in New Zealand beat the Warriors by three. If somebody guessed that and the margin, insane, insane. Uh, next up, I backed in the Dragons on Anzac Day uh, to beat the Roosters here. I thought it would be a close game. Boy, was I wrong. Roosters won this one 60 points to 18. It, that's just it. It blew my mind. I don't know how the hell that happened, but it did. So Roosters <laughs> getting the job done in a... Big way there over St. George Lawara. Yeah, not, not a good tip there for me. Next up, obviously I backed in my Rabbitohs. They've never beaten Storm in Melbourne. And this trend continued as the Storm beat the Rabbitohs by 34 points. Look, last week I did say the Storm would win. I was confident Storm would win. But I just cannot tip against my club. So, credit to Storm though. They were incredible. Uh, look, there was a little bit of improvement in parts by the Rabbitohs, but all in all, it's just disappointing from us. It really is. Um, if you want to see my full take on uh, this game, jump over to my TikTok. You'll see it there. I was pretty disappointed. All right, next up, I backed in the Seagulls to beat Parramatta here. Uh, I thought this one would be a pretty good win here for Manly, and it pretty much was. Like The Eels controlled a lot of this game, but Manly came home too strong. Got the win there by 14 points on Friday. All right, the first of the Saturday games. I backed in the Broncos to beat the Tigers. I thought it would be a little bit closer than this. And to be fair, if the Appy try was allowed, I think that would have made it 10 points to 6. So I thought they were a bit hard done by there. Um, you know, they, I think they've been a bit hard done by in their last two games, to be honest. But Broncos too good there. Big 24-point win over the Tigers. Next up, I backed in the Panthers to beat the Cowboys. To the Cowboys' credit, though, they were phenomenal in this game. They looked very good. Um, they've had, you know, they haven't really played top-tier opponents, and to go, you know, to take on the Panthers, who are relatively full strength. I know Toruva and Scott Sorensen and Moses Leona were out of this team. But realistically, like, it's still a strong Panthers squad. Cleary back and all that. And to go uh, down by only six points was a pretty good effort, in my opinion, for the Cowboys. But, uh, yeah, definitely taking that tip. It was uh, a lot closer than I would have liked. All right, next up, I backed in the Dolphins at Suncorp to beat the Knights. And they nearly came home and uh, got that win there. But the Knights uh, proved too good without KP. Um Armstrong, I think it is. At fullback was incredible. He looked really, really dangerous. Uh, the Knights were good in this game. Like I thought they handled this one pretty well. So good, uh, good win there for the Knights. And then finally, the Sharkies 40 over the Raiders nil. I backed in this one. I thought the Sharks would get it done 13 plus in Canberra as well. That's that's like I get they don't have a real half back there, the Raiders, but I thought, I thought they'd do a little bit better than that to be honest. All right, enough of that. Let's go into round nine. <laughs> First game, Rabbitohs against the Panthers. And we all know which way this is going. The Panthers are going to put an absolute clinic on the Rabbitohs here. Um, if we have a look at... Um, where are we? If we have a look at the... Um, the past couple of games between these two. The Rabbitohs actually won last year. And notoriously, it's pretty close. Like Rabbitohs won by two last year. Um, oh, in round eight last year, they only lost by six in round two. So they've kept it pretty competitive. But we know this is not a Rabbitohs team that uh, that is doing well this season. So, yeah, look, I, I, I can't see the Rabbitohs winning this one in saying that. Still gonna tip them. I'm still gonna back in my boys here, but I just I can't see. I cannot see this one going the way of the Rabbitohs. To be honest, 
All right, next up, we've got the Seagulls against the Raiders. Uh, this one is being played at Brookvale. Uh, the last two meetings between these two clubs um, in round 12 of 2023, the Manly Seagulls beat the Raiders in Canberra 42 to 14. Um, the year before that, 2022, it was a 48 to 6 thumping by the Raiders. Look, Raiders, they, they looked in all sorts today. I cannot see a world where Manly lose this game. So I think uh, I think Manly put on a bit of a cricket score here against Canberra. I think Canberra start to fall down that ladder pretty quickly. All right, next up, we've got the Broncos against the Roosters. This one's interesting because out of the 48 games that they've played, both sides have won 24, so it's 50-50. Um, and again, Roosters won over in Vegas 20 to 10 earlier this year, but the Broncos beat the Roosters late last year 32 to 10. So you know, it's I think this game will be very very tight. To be honest, I don't think there'll be too much in it. Uh, but Roosters got the chocolates in Vegas. I do think the Broncos get the win here at Suncorp Stadium. I think they will be too good there. Uh, however, the Roosters. Now, they definitely could win this one. I think this one will be a very close game. All right, next up, we've got the Bulldogs against the Tigers. Uh, this one is played at a core stadium. Bulldogs have won both of their last two games against the Tigers, 26 to 22 in round three of last year, and 36 to 12 in round 15 of 2022. Both, both these sides are... I would say incredibly improved on last season and the year before that as well. So this game should be relatively close in my opinion. Oh, and also guys, I, you know, I've seen a couple of comments out there saying, you know, you should do these after Team List Tuesday. I would just like to come out and say, like, I, the reason I do them, um, you know, Sunday and Monday, you know, whichever day works better for me, is due to my work commitments and stuff. It's just once Tuesday comes, I've got basketball on Wednesday. I've got I finish work till late on Tuesday. It's just too hard to get these out later, especially now that I live a lot further away from work. So that is the reason why these don't get uploaded after Teamless Tuesday. It's just too hard. It wouldn't get uplo uploaded until probably Thursday at the uh, at the earliest. So yeah, unfortunately, it's just it's just easier for me doing it this way, and that's. I'll just, I'll answer it on here, not the comments. So if you do comment about it, guys, just just watch the video. You'll, you'll see um, that is why I don't upload on uh, after Teamless Tuesday. All right, back to it. So the Bulldogs have won the last two games. They're, they've actually won most of their games or over 50% of their games at a core stadium. Um, Tigers, look, they're in pretty good form. Like, it's, they had a couple of bad calls go against them, which I would say deflated them against the Panthers and Broncos respect, respectively. Uh, but in saying that, I still do think the Dogs get the win there. So I am backing in the uh, the Bulldogs there at a call. Next up, we've got the Titans against the Storm. I'm not going to lie, I'm tempted in tipping the Titans here. Uh, the Titans lost to Storm late last year, 37-16, to 16, but they did beat them in Gold Coast 38 to 34. Um, Storm do have a very good record at Seabar Super Stadium, though. So I am going to back in Storm here. Um, we'll talk one, one, 12 or 13 plus soon, but uh, yeah, I think uh, I think this one could uh, could be an interesting one. All right, next up we got the Dolphins against the Cowboys. Um, Dolphins have won one game out of their three against the Cowboys. The Cowboys won the last two games against the Dolphins, though, uh, convincingly as well, winning round 26 last year, 34 to 10, and winning round one this year, 43-18. So, look, I do think at home, Cowboys probably get the win. However, when they did meet at, in um, North Queensland last year, the Dolphins actually got the one, the win in that game, so and that's that. That is something interesting there. Um, both sides have a forty-three percent win record overall, which uh, I don't know who that sounds worse for the team that's played more games or less. But look, I do think the Cowboys get home here at uh, at Townsville, but this is a game I definitely could see the Dolphins uh, turning up for and winning. 
All right, next up, we've got the Newcastle Knights against the uh, New Zealand Warriors. Warriors have actually won more. They've won 25 games against the Knights and won, and drawn one, whereas the Knights have won 22 against the Warriors. The last two games, around, 20, around four, 2024, the Warriors won 20 to 12. And uh, finals week two last year, the Warriors won 40 to 10. This is tough because it, it is at um, McDonald Jones Stadium there. The Warriors don't have a great record at that stadium. Oh, no KP is a big issue. Warriors have lost two games on the trot now. Um, to pretty average opponents. Uh, I think I tip the Warriors in this one, but again, I, I don't say that with much confidence. I don't think it'll be a 13 plus win there. All right, and then finally, we've got the Cronulla Sharks against the uh, St. George of the Dragons. Uh, Sharks have won 58% of games at Points Bet Stadium or Shark Park. The, um, the last two games between these sides, Sharkies won 52 to 16 and 40 to 8. So, yeah, look, I think this is a one-sided game here. I think Cronulla win and win that one well. All right, let's go over my tips, guys. I will give you my margin and my anytime try scorer. Um, only rule is the anytime try scorer has got to come from the winning team. So, uh, yeah, this one might be interesting. All right, so Rabbitohs, obviously 1-12 to over the Panthers. I'm hopeful about that, but I doubt it. So uh, just putting down the record, I do think Panthers win this one, but I just can't bring myself to tipping against my club. Um, Rabbitohs 1-12, to and I reckon Cody Walker is dual try. Surely he scores in this one. All right, next up, Seagulls, Raiders. I think Manly win this one 1-12, to but I do think it will be a little bit closer than what most people expect. Oh, uh, no, actually, no, we're going to go 13 plus. I, I do think Manly probably do win this one 13 plus, to be fair. Raiders just, they don't have a halfback. They, they're in all sorts. Yeah, I think Manly win this one 13 plus. And my anytime try scorer, I think Tom Kravojevic gets another one. All right, Broncos, Roosters. This will be a 1 12 win here for the Broncos. And I do think we see. I think we will see Katoni Staggs cross in this one. Next up, we've got Bulldogs against Tigers. This will be a 1-12 win here for the Bulldogs. And I think Stephen Crichton scores in that one. Storm, I'm going to say 1-12 against the Titans in the Gold Coast. I think it'll be a close game. Uh, but I am going to say anytime try scorer Xavier Coates. The man scores every week. I reckon he gets another one here. Next up, Cowboys 1-12 over the Dolphins with Kyle Felt scoring there. Uh, Warriors, I think this will be a 1-12 win for the Warriors here. And I'm going to go with... I'm going to go Adam Fanul Blake to cross over again. He scored a couple last week, I believe. So I think he's due another one. I reckon he'll be um, eager to get another meat pie here. And then finally, Sharky's 13+. plus over the Dragons, and I think we see Nico Hines put on another masterclass, so I reckon he gets a try in that one. All right, guys, let me know your tips down below. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Trying to hit 6,000 subs by the end of July. I cannot do that without your help, so if you could help me out, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all so much for tuning in, and as always, my friends, I will see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.